video, I'll be taking you through a very simple to use online CAD pattern drafting software called iClue. The first thing you need to do, of course, is to create your account. You just need your name and your email, and of course, a password, and then you click on register. This is the first time of my using this, so I just want to do a video on it to see how easy it is to use. So once you log into your account, this is where you will land. As I said, this is my first time of using this. So let's see how it goes. When you get to this site, just go to create. So when you click on create here, you see all the types, pattern types that they have. From my research, they don't have much yet. They have very few. But if you go to the t-shirts, they have only very few, it's not much. You go to the blouses, they have only two. You go to the pants, they have only one, two, three, four styles, shorts, you know, skirts, sweatshirts, jumpsuit, and so on and so forth. They don't have much. The the software looks like Telonova, I would say. If you don't know what Telonova is, I have videos on how to register for Telonova, how to use it to create patterns. And I'm going to link the video right here if you're interested in going to check out Telonova. But let's see what it will take to create a dress pattern. So once you click on the dress, this is all they have. As I said, it's not much, very few. So let's see how we can create this one. This looks nice to me. So let's see how we can create this off-shoulder dress. I clicked on it, and then I go to create. Let's see what happens. So that is the dress. That is the vector. And this is what your pattern will uh, look like. So, if you go here to advanced mode and just put it on, it shows you all the sizes for this particular uh, model. So, once you are here, let's go back to where we were. We were here. Once you have your model, let me check something. Um, let me check something. So once you have your model, you need to find out how do you download this pattern according to your body measurements. You now go to this place pattern measures. This shows you the actual measurements of this model. So this is where I feel that it's much easier than Telonova. Because for Telonova, you need to put in every single measurement of your body that you have. I have a video that I will link here showing you how to actually impute your body measurements in Telonova. That is, if you're interested in going to check it out. But I think you should, because this is exactly like Telonova, only that Telonova has much more patterns that you can draft or play with. So, how do you get your size? If you come to this little uh, round dot here, or here, let's go to this one. If you come here and you click on it, it will show you where that measurement is. So that is the measurement at your knee level. Half of it. That is your knee circumference, but half of it. That is what that measurement is. So what you need to do is to 
Go through all of it and write down your own measurement. As I said, once you click here, it will show you what measurement it is. So you measure it, write it down. And remember, it's half. For instance, if you measure your hip uh, knee circumference and it is 40 inches, you need to know that you're writing down 20. Because all the measurements here, they are half of the normal measurements. And then again, this is in inches. If you want to do it in centimeters, you can click here. If I click here, you see that everything changes to centimeters. But let us go back to our inches. So that is how you can change here to inches or centimeters, whichever tape that you're using. So once you've you know, written down all your measurements on paper, you now come and see how to adjust this pattern and all these measurements to actually fit your own measurements. So let's say we want to adjust your waist width. The waist width here you can see is 13, 1, 8 inches. And that means that the waist for this model is about 26 point something. That is if you multiply this by two. As I said, remember it's half. For instance, if I click here, you see that it is just one side of the waist. It's half of it that you need to measure. So let's say your waist is uh, 32 and half of 32 is 16. So all you need to do is to come here to waist width. Remember, once you click on advanced mode, this, this comes out. If I click it back, it goes back. So if I click it again, that's how you get this particular section of the software. So let's go to the, we are looking at waist width, how to make it to your own waist width. And I said, if your waist width is 32, divide that by two, that gives you 16. That means this should be 16 inches. So you come here to waist width, and then you use this to just scroll it a little bit. And then you look at it, it will change. So right now it's 15. You scroll it a little bit again. 15 and a half. Just scroll it a little bit. It's not just 16. <laughs> a little bit. 16. So that, that's exactly what you do to get your measurements. So once you keep scrolling all of it, after you've gotten your measurements and written it on your paper or on your Word document, you now use it to just scroll and scroll and scroll until you get exactly your sizes. You've done all your measurements and you've put your sizes. That's essentially it. And that, I will say, is something that I love because it's quite easy. You don't need to measure yourself and put it right here as you would do with Taylor Nova. Once you're done with adjusting the sizes the way you want according to your own size, then you're ready to download this pattern. As you can see, this pattern doesn't really have a zip. That means you're using a neat fabric to sew it, a stretchy fabric to sew this style. That is probably why there is no zip on it. So once you're done, you just go to download, click on download, and then you can download it as a PDF pattern. You can even download it as a DXF format that you can use on any other kind of uh, 3D systems. And one thing you need to know is that you're only allowed to download three patterns for free. So that means you can do three dresses for free. You can do three tops for free. You know, it's left for you. You can just do only three patterns for free. And then... You can also keep, click here for the sewing instructions. Once you've uh, chosen the paper that you want, you can always click for your sewing instructions. I don't know if they have it yet because I couldn't highlight it when I wanted to do that. It didn't, I couldn't highlight it. So you now click on download and then you download your pattern. As I said, it's exactly like Telonova. There's nothing so different about it. If you want to know how to put your patterns together, I have a video that I also link here showing you how to put together 
PDF patterns from Taylor Nova. I'm sure it's not much different from this one. Now, one thing I want to show you before I end the video. Let's say you want to create an elevator of yourself. You know, you can just go here to size and then click here plus. And once you click there, you can now enter your own measurements. You can label, give it a name, maybe give it your name, and then put in your measurements. And once you click on this little round dot here, it shows you what and how to do each of the measurements. It shows you how to do it. So you can, but remember the measurements are supposed to be half, half measurements. So whatever you get, divide by two, and then you click, put it right there. So essentially that is all I see here that has to do with this, um, this software. And with that, I've actually come to the end of my introduction to uh, iClue. It's quite simple to use, but if I'm to give any kind of, uh, I would say if you want to use this kind of thing, it's better you use Telanova because Telanova for me, you have, you have a lot of you know, patterns to choose from. This year is, uh, is new. Maybe they will add more patterns later. I don't know. But this for me is good for somebody that is just starting out trying your hands on um, PDF patterns online. You can always start with iClue. It's very simple to use for anybody that just wants to sew something simple and just wear and go your way. It's quite easy to use. So thank you so much for watching. Till my next time in my next video. Thank you.